So after about two months, our country is finally starting to operate again. Restaurants are reopening. The stores are opening again. You can even get your hair cut if you want. It's amazing what happens and how little things have been missed. Everything seems to be coming a little bit more normal. Even our churches are beginning to reopen and others are making plans to reopen in the near future. I hope it's all done responsibly, but we want to get back to some sort of normalcy. Even the sports scene is returning. We've been without all our sports and we humans, we love sports. Last weekend, NASCAR had a race. The golf players were out on the, out on the greens. The NBA is beginning, beginning to practice. Baseball is talking about starting a late season. Even the NFL is setting up their schedule and talking about a season. But the one thing they all have in common is they're talking about no fans. No fans, folks. How can you have a game with no fans? How can you score a touchdown and the, and the crowds don't scream? How can you get a home run and not hear the fans yelling and clapping? How can you have a game with no fans? Fans matter. Players know that. That's why teams even talk about the home field advantage, where you know that all the people are on your side wanting you to win. It makes a difference. It makes a difference in life, too. It matters when people are cheering for us. It matters when we know people want us to win. It matters when we know that people believe in us. That's what the church is about. The church should be a place of amazing encouragement. The Bible in the book of Hebrews talks about this great cloud of witnesses that surrounds us. And then it lists all sorts of people who have lived a life of faith in Scripture. And their testimony is cheering us on. It's like having people in the fans when you're out on the field. When you feel inadequate and you don't think you can do what God has asked you to do, suddenly Moses stands up and says, Go, you can do it. God will bless. If you feel like you just have done too many wrongs, you've made way too many mistakes, your life feels like it's been wasted, suddenly Samson stands up and cheers for you and says, it's never too late, God can use you. If you believe that you're just a woman, and women certainly can't do anything, suddenly Esther stands up and right at her side is Mary, and they go, you go girl, you go, you can do it, you can do it. The church is a place of encouragement. Even if you feel like you are an absolute nobody, nobody knows who you are, nobody knows what you can do, suddenly this guy stands up in the stands that nobody recognizes, his name is Shamgar. If you want to know about him, just go to Judges 3.31 and find, how to find out how a nobody can make a difference for God. The church is a place for encouragement. The church is a place where we cheer each other on. We're not here to judge each other. We're not here to criticize one another. We're, no, we're to know that even when we drop the ball, our fans stand up and say, Go, you can do it. That's what Christianity ought to be like. Oh, the stands are going to be empty this year. The games may happen, but there's not going to be anyone watching from the stands. But I just pray that's not the way it's going to be in the church. That we will find ourselves always urging each other on to, to be more faithful, to be able to know that even when we fail, there is no reason to give up hope. Even when we drop the ball, there's another play. Even when we make mistakes, God is forgiving. We're here to win. And God says, through Jesus, we can. And so may we, as we live in a world where there's so many things happening, where not everything goes the way we wish it would. May we be able to know that when we look around ourselves that we say, I want to be someone that's cheering others on. I want to be someone who hears the cheers of others when I get discouraged. I want to be someone who knows that God believes in me the angels of heaven believe in me, that the Bible is full of witnesses by the millions who can testify that the grace of God is sufficient, that his forgiveness is real, that his love is never ending, and that he believes in his people. And so stand up and cheer. Stand up and cheer for your brothers and sisters. Stand up and cheer for the children as they make their stands for Jesus. Be there as a supporter, someone who loves others, someone who wants to be an encouragement to other people. And as we do that, 
God is going to do amazing things through each of us. And so may we be the fans for God's people, cheering others on, knowing we can make a difference for good. God bless you. Stay healthy, stay happy, stay safe, and together we can be the church making a difference. God bless you.